Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video where I'm kind of rehashing a subject, but in a better way than I did last time. And that's about cleaning slides. So the problem with slides is that they're a giant thing with a bunch of friction that we have to make rather frictionless. And when people think of cleaning slides, when they don't have the experience to know, they think about putting it in a bathtub and snaking it out and you know getting the grime out of the slide, which is good. You should do that. I should do that to this at some point. But that's not the way that you're going to get your slide to have good action. Yes, that gets the grime out. It's a good thing to do. We want the slide to move well. And this is where a lot of people get hung up. They'll put the slide in the tub, snake it out, and they're like, man, it's still kind of gritty. Like, it doesn't feel like it moves very well. Um, this is how you clean your slide to get good action. And this is what I recommend anytime someone says, oh, my slide makes a lot of noise or it feels like it hangs up in a certain spot. Clean it first in this way. And then if it's still not very good, take it to somebody who can fix slides. Because there are problems that of course the cleaning will not fix if a slide is out of alignment, meaning that the inner tubes and outer tubes don't match up. They are not completely parallel. Um, or there's a dent somewhere, or etc. There's a lot of different things that can go wrong, of course. It needs to be fixed, and a cleaning is not going to help that. But, 8 out of 10 times when someone has a slide that's like not great, not perfect, just needs to be cleaned. I see this all the time. Anyway, let's go over that. What do you need? Well, first you need a dirty slide. I've got my Shires B6278 right here, which is uh, rather dirty and is just a little slow around like second position. I just need to clean it, it's been a couple weeks. You need a cleaning rod. I have the slido mix cleaning rod, which is very nice. It's got a black plastic covering on it. Great, you can use just a normal cleaning rod, of course. I use the slido mix sheath, which is a really nicely made uh, cloth sheath that goes over the entire cleaning rod, just like this. I really like these because they're like kind of expensive, they're like 20 bucks, but then you just wash it and it's clean again. So I've used this same one for like five years. Uh, you can also use uh, on a normal cleaning rod with the eyelet at the end, you can use cheesecloth where you put some cheesecloth through and then put it partially or all the way down the cleaning rod and you hold that so it doesn't get stuck in the slide. And then you need some form of cloth, just a cloth as well. This is a microfiber. I prefer microfibers, these are really cheap on Amazon and they pick up everything on the slide, but you need one of these as well. And of course you need some slide lube and I recommend Yamaha slide lube. Before you start, shake that up and put it down. You need to shake Yamaha slide lube and it needs to settle before you use it. So you may as well do that now. First things first, I'm going to get my cloth, I'm going to get my inner slide, that's the shiny one, the nickel one, and I'm going to wipe it down. I'm going to put the cloth on here and then I'm going to hold the inner tube directly, not the cork barrels, not the slide grip, because if you hold this while we're cleaning the slide, you can actually torque the tubes, put them out of alignment. So you may as well hold the part that you're actually cleaning. And you can actually, if you have a nice clean cloth that doesn't have like sand on it, Use some pressure, get the stuff that's off, or that's on the slide, and get it off. Um, these are relatively clean, there's just, you know, Yamaha slide lube on here, so I don't need to go super crazy, but I'm just trying to get everything off here. Notice how this is all dry, I'm not using any water, I'm not using any soap. Cool, and then I'm going to put the cloth down and put the inner slide on that, so it's not touching any hard surfaces. And then I grab my cleaning rod, however you have it set up, grab your inner or outer slide, and what you want to do is match up the end of the cleaning rod to where the crook starts. If you put your cleaning rod in this far, then guess what? You get a hole in your crook if you jam it really hard. So you want to match that up and then put your thumb at the end of the tube so you can't go too far. And then go ahead and put it in there and give it a vigorous scrubbing. This gets a lot of the stuff that's on the inside of these tubes to come off. You actually want the tube to start feeling warm. And yes, this is awkward if you're doing it around people, they go, what are you doing? 
that's part of the fun of trombone in general. So that one feels nice and warm. I'm gonna pull down this again. I'm gonna check the length, put my thumb on it. Do the same thing to the other tube. And this is still awkward. I notice you're watching me do this and it's awkward. Put this down, I'm done with it. And now what I'm gonna do is pull up both pieces of the slide, give this one more wipe down because there's probably some dust on it. And I'm going to wipe off the ends of the outer slide because some probably got knocked onto that. And then put the slide together. Ta-da, you now have a clean slide. And to apply lube to it, I'm just going to, and I can't really do this on camera, can I? Maybe I can use this chair. Yeah, I can almost do this. I'm going to put a line starting at the stocking, most of the way up the tube, another line on the other tube starting at the stocking. Nice thin line, not a whole bunch. I'm gonna wipe off the excess because there's always a little bit that escapes. And then take the slide apart again and twist each tube individually. So you move the loop all the way around each tube. And now I have a slide with very, very good action. And it'll probably last that way for a good week, especially if I don't play it a ton. I played a lot, it'll last like five days. I don't use water, I don't reapply lube, I do nothing. I just play it as is, and when it starts to get kind of grungy, starts to slow down, I just clean it and start over. That's it. If this doesn't make your slide really pretty good, then you may have larger problems. It might be out of alignment, it might have dents, it might just be a bad slide, etc. But start with this and your slide will be much, much better than it was. I clean a lot of slides that I buy, and I can tell that nobody has ever done what I just did, especially the cheesecloth or cleaning rod thing on the outer slide. That gets so much nasty stuff out of slides because no one's ever done it before. That's all I got for today. Clean your slides. It's good for them. It's good for you. It builds character. And I'll see you in the next one.